Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. By the time you view this tutorial, the chances are that the release date of the final version of macOS Sonoma has been announced. However, at the time of recording, the final version had not yet been released, so this preview tutorial is based on one of the late betas of the operating system. It's really intended to give you a taste of some of the new features, and we'll be doing deeper dives on additional features in future tutorials. Once released, macOS Sonoma will be available for automatic installation via the software update mechanism. And the usual considerations do apply before you decide to upgrade. Those are, if your Mac is mission critical, it may be worth waiting at least until the first point release before upgrading. Check to see that all of your important applications have been certified to work with macOS Sonoma or that an updated supported version is available. And finally, make sure that you have either a time machine or a bootable backup of your Mac before proceeding with the upgrade. Now this graphic from the Apple website shows you which devices are compatible, and it is available for both Intel and Apple Silicon-based Macs. Some of the new features are only available on Apple Silicon Macs, but these are mostly connected to improvements in video conferencing. Most, if not all of the features I'll describe in this update are applicable to both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. Now, one surprise to me is that my 2019 iMac Pro is supported under Sonoma. And you may remember I nearly replaced it when macOS Ventura was announced, as initially it wasn't supported under Ventura. So I'm pretty shocked that it's still supported and even supported under the new operating system. Now, one final point before we take a look, most, if not all of the features I'm going to cover today are also available on iOS 17 and iPad OS 17. And rather than keep flipping between the three operating systems, this update will just cover how those features have been implemented on Mac OS, and we'll cover iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 in a separate update video. So let's take a look at Mac OS Sonoma. My initial take on Mac OS Sonoma is that Apple have struck a nice balance between performance improvements and the introduction of new features. And much work has been done cosmetically and I have to say it's pretty gorgeous. Now, one area where this is most apparent is with the new desktop and screen savers. Now, if you're familiar with Apple TV, uh, you're no doubt already aware of the aerial screen savers. And these are beautiful high res videos that act as screen savers and a selection are now available on Mac OS. And in addition, they've also brought in a customizable lock screen. So this is the standard Sonoma Valley desktop, I think it is. But if I just go into system settings, let me go ahead and, okay, so Sonoma Horizon. Now I can use this as a screensaver as well if I want to. In fact, let's switch that on. So that will now uh, kick in as a screensaver. We've got some dynamic wallpapers, some new ones for Sonoma. Uh, these are the aerial videos. So Sonoma Horizon, uh, Grand Canyon River Valley. You'll notice this little down arrow. This means that it's not installed on the machine. So I have to install that, but you install it basically just by clicking on the thing itself. And you'll see we have a progress indicator up here at the top showing that it's about to download or it is downloading in the background. So we've got landscapes, Patagonia, we've got Dubai skyline, Los Angeles flyover, lots and lots. And some of these are really spectacular. In fact, I have to admit the first time that I ran it, the Sonoma Horizon actually did make me sort of uh, have a, a slightly wow moment because it uh, does look very spectacular. But let's just wait for this Grand Canyon River Valley to download and then we'll take a look at that. So that's now downloaded. Let me just pop this out of the way. We've now got this beautiful Grand Canyon display, but it gets better because if I go into my lock screen, so let's just switch on the lock screen. You'll see that it's animated. So it's actually a video and we actually gently move down the Grand Canyon in this glorious setting. Now emulating the iOS lock screen, we now have a big clock in the center of the lock screen. That can be configured, I'll show you that shortly. Also a message your screen is being observed because I'm capturing this for the screen capture. But uh, as that goes through, let me just use Touch ID to go back into my desktop. And what you'll notice is as it goes back in, the video slows down, stops, and this is now my new desktop. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.